So I was fortunate enough to be a first hand witness of a math genius in the making. So Parth was a co-author of one of my co-authors who wrote to me that here is an extremely talented boy and see if you can do something for him as in uh, him being an intern under me. And I had seen a couple of papers of Parth published in research journals, but I was startled when I found out that he was, he had just finished his 12th grade. And uh, I thought, why not give him a chance and see, it will be fun working with him. And actually it was extreme fun working with him because every day he used to come with some results, some new results and he used to say, sir, this is what I found out. And somebody very introvert, someone who doesn't speak that much, but someone who is so enthusiastic about mathematics. There was really uh, a novel thing about him. So we did work on one project as well, one new research project, which is still under preparation. But then uh, Parth said that he would like to apply for this uh, Yahoo award. Before he uh, actually came here in IIT Gandhinagar and I said, okay, it's, uh, I'm fine to be your mentor. And I would like to emphasize here that Parth did all of the work. My work was only to provide him with necessary references whenever needed or uh, to tell him that, okay, there is some mathematician who has done something which might be helpful for you or something which you should be cautious about because if you need to know whether he has done it previously or not. But all of the research and everything for the Yao Award was done by Parth himself. So I've been involved in non-routine mathematics and mathematics research since a, since middle school. So my experience with non-routine mathematics stems from attending classes under Dr. Bas Pamber since grade four, where he gave us some Olympiad coaching and he also exposed us to uh, other summer programs such as PROMISE and RSI. Attending these summer programs, I was able to uh, meet many like-minded peers and connect with other faculties and conduct some research. And in particular, in grades 11th and 12th, I was working with Professor Christophe Pena, who is a professor of mathematics at Tulane and Paris Tackley, in the area of mathematics influenced by Ramanujan and also in special functions. And Professor Dixit, who is a professor at IITGN, is a close collaborator of Professor Pena. So choosing IITGN was the next most natural step for me. Yeah, uh, so my research with Professor Dixit is uh, centers around the work of math Indian mathematician Srinivas Ramanujan mm -hmm. and lies in analytic number theory. Analytic number theory is primarily concerned with uh, studying numbers and their properties using calculus and analysis. And my research under Professor Dixit was generalizing an identity of Ramanujan. So to understand this identity, I'll first introduce the Riemann zeta function. The Riemann zeta function can be uh, understood as the sum of reciprocals of natural numbers, each raised to some specific power. For instance, zeta of s can be taken as sum over uh, 1 by n to the s and from 1 to infinity, which is just 1 over 1 to the s plus 1 over 2 to the s plus and so on, mm. where s is any complex number. And when s is some odd value such as say s is 3, then uh, 1 over 1 cube plus 1 over 2 cube plus 1 over uh, 3 cube plus and so on. Uh, the algebraic nature of this quantity is irrational. So, and in general, determining the algebraic nature of odd zeta values, which are zeta of 2k plus 1, is an open problem. But Ramanujan's identity expresses the odd zeta value as a rapidly convergent Lambert series plus a multiple of pi. So, what this says is that zeta, uh, odd zeta values is almost transcendental or a multiple of pi. And in our work, we generalize Ramanujan's identity to a generalization of Riemann zeta function called the Hobbes zeta function, and which was also presented by me at STO Science Award in China. China. There were many enjoyable moments, and uh, the campus was really fun for me. In particular, uh, there were many opportunities to engage with peers, participate in other extracurricular activities, and engage in other extracurricular uh, sports and other events. In particular, I really enjoyed swimming with my swimmates or uh, participating in the blitz run, 
and this was also the first time i was staying away with my twin uh, away from my twin yeah. close knit the close knit community of peers and my roommate helped smooth the transition also the post doc the graduate students and the faculty were genuinely interested in my research and they were very easy to approach after my bachelor i will probably pursue a doctorate so staying at iit jain uh, gave me experience of what it is like to do a phd and i am now sure that i want to do a phd because uh, i was like living like any other phd student at iit jain campus mm-hmm. and also one of my goals is to make mathematics more accessible to a general audience so after a phd i generally plan to focus on a career in academia and teaching <laughs>